youtube what is going on with y'all man i'm back with another video man i need to address this right now because if you clicked on it like i always say you wanted to hear this in the first place right i'm gonna get right into it man you feel me so look check it out do you guys understand the power of positivity like do you guys understand the power of positivity now i'm gonna i'm gonna really say this with grace right i'm grateful every day like i woke up man i'm blessed regardless right and you should be feeling the same way but I feel like we're not positive enough because we're letting the demons, right? The lurkers, whatever you guys want to call them, win every time. Do you know they want you to be negative? Like, we're not going to be cliche with it, right? But let's just be honest. They want us to be negative. They want us to be unhappy. They want us to not go anywhere in life, to stay under their control. But do you realize that positivity and how you feel is on you? You know that, right? When you wake up in the morning, it is on you on how you feel and how you want to operate through that day. I don't care about everything else outside of you because you're only trying to focus on within. So nothing should really bottle you in the swaying into different, you know, vibrations to cause you to not be happy. Now, I'm a victim of it, obviously. I wouldn't be talking about this if I wasn't a victim myself, right? There was plenty of days and plenty of times I was in this negative state of mind, negative state of living, and nothing went my way. Realistically, nothing went my way. But I chose to be negative, right? I chose to be in that vibration. And what does that cause on my soul? Not attracting what I want, when I want, or trying to manifest something that should be here already. But you let the low vibrations and everything in that nature get you, right? I'm here to let you guys know that the more positive you are and the more positive you carry on without your day, your vibration is only going to get higher and higher. Do you realize it's spiritual warfare? It is spiritual warfare, realistically, right now, as we speak. No one wants you to get to a certain vibration and they want you guys to stay exactly the same, if not lower. You get what I mean? And it goes for everything in life and what you're doing on an everyday basis to cause you to have that dopamine in your brain to even be positive, to even be happy, to even be in the present moment, to even be this lit. I don't know, this lit, bro. You know what I mean? And it's hard, bro, because when you're surrounding yourself with other people that are negative themselves, it's going to be pretty difficult for you to even get to a vibration where you need to be happy. So removing yourself is very important excluding yourself to go somewhere else is very imperative because you have to protect your energy in order to stay in a happy ass vibration in the world we live in bro the demons are just taking people man they're taking as much people as they can man and we need to really look at it from a different lens and it's like you know what i gotta really focus on myself on god i really have to focus on the inner powers that i have within myself because y'all got it within y'all selves too but you're not going to sit there and believe yourself because you're letting outside circumstances run that for you. And that's okay if that you think that way. That's cool, man. I don't hurt either way. But I'm letting this message get across because somebody out there needed to hear this. Because realistically, man, the main thing of reasoning, even living, right, even actually being around here is that if you're not positive, and if you're not working towards something you want to get done, you'll never fulfill your dream and you'll never fulfill your happiness truly within, you know what I mean? I don't want to get all over the place right there when I said that. But really understand that, guys. Like, why aren't you happy right now? You just woke up, man. Stop. You're on your phone scrolling. You probably see this video. So stop. You get to work out today. So stop. You get to, like, you get to do your goal, your purpose, anything you want to do. Why are you, like, bitching about it, right? Why are you, like, oh, I'm tired about it, bro. I'm not really trying to do anything. Like, bro, you can't be like that, man. You cannot be like that, bro. You can't because I'm going to tell you this, honestly, like if you're literally like that and you're not trying to excel to the highest version of yourself, you're going to remain the same. Now, I don't make the rules on that, man. I'm trying to get better. We're all trying to get better. That's why we're all here in the first place, right? It's not an easy journey, but it's a journey that's got to get done in order to do so. You got to be in a happy ass vibration. You know, you need to look at everything from a different perspective. But in order to do that, you got to do a lot of meditation. You got to do a lot of talking with yourself to even see a different perspective once your eyes hasn't been awoken because at the end of the day man if you're not meditating you're not focused on yourself you're not going to see anything different you're going to wake up seeing the same stuff like oh okay it's the same shit. you're not going to look at anything different but if you really inner work yourself like really channel all that energy within you and know who you are at the end of the day you're going to look at this whole reality completely different and if you don't it's on you it's not on me you have to really see it for yourself and have that belief within yourself Everything's about you at the end of the day. So you can't get mad and wake up and be like, man, this is this again, man, man, F this, bro. I ain't trying to live this life. I ain't trying to do that. You're sending that vibration out in the world and that is not okay. You can't be saying that on an everyday basis. It's very important what you say to yourself and how you say it to yourself to let those manifestations come in. Do you understand that? You have to let them come. 
If you're blocking off your blessings every moment by being negative, not saying the right things to yourself, saying the wrong things to other people, or not acknowledging a lot of other people, just kind of being selfish to yourself, do you truly, truly to your soul believe that your, your manifestation is going to come? It's not going to freaking come, bro. In fact, it's probably going to run away from you because you're not even trying to attract it in the first place. That's not the vibration you're supposed to be on. OK, it takes a lot of time with yourself to understand this. So, so I'm telling you guys, if you got time to go in nature, go to the playground, go to the hoops and go somewhere and just be alone. I advise you to do that because at the end of the day, you're not going to truly know what you want to do in this world and how happy you really need to be. If you're surrounded by other people that are really like vibrating to the point where they're ready to leave the earth. You know what I mean? Not vibrating higher, not trying to excel to a different state of being. That's on them. Don't allow your vibration to creep and break down because they're not trying to go up. It's a spiritual warfare. Forget about the flesh for a second, guys. Forget about the worldly things for a second. This is a spiritual warfare, and they don't want us to be in a high vibration ever. The more you vibrate high, the more easier the demons come in and try to break you down. But you got to have that will, and you got to have that fire with, and desire within yourself to literally say, no, 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 I'm going to do this, do this, and that is it. That's the end of it. This is how I am. This I'm always going to be, respectfully. And that's how you got to look key through with this life. You got to look at it that way, man. Like... A lot of us really don't understand stuff like this, and it's okay. You know what I mean? Like, we're not here to bash anyone. You know what I mean? But it's like, guys, we should know these things, bro. Like, if we're not vibrating high, you're not going to have anything come to you, period. Doesn't matter what you think. I'm not, I don't care if I'm right or wrong. This is just facts. If you're not vibrating high, you're not vibrating, you're not, you're not here and you're down here, why do you expect what you want to get up here when you're not even up there in the first place. Just let that seep into your soul. And that should give you a sense of direction to really get on yourself, to really get where you need to be, man. It's a grind. I get it, y'all. It's a battle every single day on our consciousness. But we really got to fight back. We really got to tell this, like, nah, fam, this is what I'm doing. You feel me? You got to have that belief, that certain belief within yourself. You got to have it. And if you don't, you're never going to be happy, right? You're never going to really seek the true happiness you want because you're not truly focused on what's really going on in here. You're worried about the outside stuff. Man, forget about this, man. This is temporary, man. This is going to be forever, bro. So focus on what's going to be forever. Then everything that's temporary is just going to come to you with, like, with ease. Because you're worrying about the foreverness. You're not worrying about the temporary world that you're not even going to be in, bro. Let that, let that sink in, guys, okay? That's the video I got for y'all. I never want the videos long, you know what I mean? I want my message to get across. So remember... Try to get on a high vibration and not a low vibration, right? It's going to be hard. We're all doing it on an everyday basis. But the whole goal to stay in a high vibration and not let the low vibrations stoop you down. Simple as that, y'all. All right? Love y'all. Take care and enjoy the rest of y'all day, man. I'm out.